In this video, we're going to look at how to schedule API requests to run in Airtable automatically. First, click the Apps button on the right-hand side, then click Add an App. In the App Marketplace, search for Data Fetcher and click Add. When the app opens, you'll need to create a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Doing this keeps all your API details secure and private from other base collaborators. On the home screen, click Create Request. Give your request a name. So for this, I'm going to use Fetch Coin Prices. Then enter the request URL. Now this will be different depending on what API you're using. But for this video, I'm going to use the CoinGecko API to pull in crypto prices. Select the output table. You can click the Use Current button to use the currently active one, as well as the output view. Then click Run. Then a modal will open where we can see the different fields that come back from the API as well as how they map to our existing ones in the table. By clicking this Show Response button, you can see all the different fields that are available. So click Filter All. This is going to remove all the fields, so we're not currently keeping any. And then we're going to add back in the ones we want. So I'm going to keep ID and create a new field called ID. I'm going to keep name and use the existing name field in the table. And then I'm going to use a current price field. I'm going to change the data type to currency rather than number. Then click confirm. Data Fetch will now create those missing fields in the output table and pull in all the data from the API and output it. So click save and close the app. And we can see that all the data has been pulled in. So if I open the app again, we're now going to look at how to schedule the request. So the first thing to do is to click this upgrade button under schedule. This will take us to datafetcher.com where you can choose a plan. After you've upgraded, return to the Airtable app and click the I've done this button. Then click add API key and you need to enter your Airtable API key because the schedule requests use the Airtable REST API to actually run. So you can find your API key by clicking this link here. Then copying your API key into the input and clicking save. Then toggle this schedule this request button. Set the frequency of how often you want the requests to run. So you can choose from every 15 or 30 minutes, every hour or every day. So I'm going to set these to run every hour. Select the days that you want these to run on. So I'm going to choose every day of the week and the time window that you want them to run between. Finally, set the time zone. This will default to the time zone that you're in. But if you want to use a different one, you can select it using this input and click Save. Finally, close the app. And if you wait for the next time that the API is scheduled to run, you'll see that the prices are updated. And this is run automatically without us clicking the Run button.